Welcome to S&P's third European low market video overview, detailing leverage finance trends and activity during June 2010. I'm Suchit Gupta, a member of S&P's leverage commentary and data team, a unit of S&P that is not affiliated with S&P ratings. For the next few minutes, I'll walk you through a review of recent loan and high yield bond market trends in Europe before winding up with themes to watch for in July. Before we start, Please know that you can follow LCD on Twitter, Facebook, and can join the more than 3,700 contacts in LCD's Leverage Loan Group on LinkedIn. The links to follow LCD are in the info section on your YouTube channel. Before getting down to business, some fine print. This disclaimer, courtesy parent company Staten & Poor's and McGraw-Hill, covers all the bases. Please read it at your leisure. Now to matters at hand. Although sentiment improved towards the end of June, the net result, as seen through the S&P European Leverage Loan Index, the ELI, was negative, as volatility from sovereign risk took its toll. Loan returns fell to negative 0.42%, the third month this year where loans had negative returns. Even with three months of negative returns, loans have returned positive 4.49% for the year. The market realized that volatility is here to stay at least for the short term and saw a flurry of activity towards the end of the month in both the loan and high yield markets. The high yield market being open is a particularly good omen for loan investors, with almost 38% of all high yield proceeds in the first half 2010 being used for refinancing. Loans softened a bit in the secondary market, but avoided a mass sell-off, as trading was extremely light. Improving fundamentals were seen in the default rates, both on the principal amount and an issuer count, as they eased again in May. As for new deal flow, high-yield issuance once again outpaced loans, reversing the anomaly that took place in May when loans outpaced high-yield issuance. Getting back to the secondary loan market, this chart details the average price of LCD's European flow name composite a measure of the 18 largest, most liquid loans consisting of 10 issuers since 2002. The secondary market fell further in June, but was def definitely less volatile than in May 2010. Focusing on the last month, the secondary market initially fell almost a quarter of a point with very light trading, and then bounced back up a quarter of a point, only to fall three quarters of a point towards the end of the month. Looking ahead, Players hope that better sentiment and the reopening of the high yield market will cause the secondary loan market to pick up once again. Investors are still finding little to suit them in the primary loan market, which should continue to support secondary loan prices. This chart details the monthly return of the ELI, a broad measure of European loan market returns that LCD calculates. The main point here, the European loan market posted a loss of 0.42% for the month of June 2010 a slight rebound from May's negative return of 1.55%. This brings the year-to-date return to 4.49%. Now from the secondary, we turn to the primary. This graph details new issue volume for both leveraged loans and high-yield bonds. European high-yield issuance overtook loan issuance in June, reversing the anomaly in May when leveraged loan issuance overtook high-yield issuance for the first time this year. For the second quarter ending 30th June 2010, loan issuance stood at $7.5 billion, unchanged from the first quarter to finish up the first half at $15 billion. Though this figure is extremely low by historical measures, it's still 35% more than the $11.1 billion launched during the first half 2009. High yield issuance for the second quarter 2010 stood at $10.2 billion, down slightly from the $12.5 billion seen at the end of the first quarter. For the first half 2010, high yield issuance closed at $22.7 billion, which is 413% more than the $4.4 billion launched during the first half 2009. Default rates continue their southwards migration. The default rate by principal amount decreased to 6.5% at the end of May from 7.42% at the end of April while the default rate by issuer count decreased from 10% at the end of April to 8.8% at the end of May. In summary, even with the backdrop of increased sovereign risk and regulatory uncertainty, the market is still functioning in terms of new issuance from both the loan and the high yield sides. The market has accepted that volatility is here to stay, 
but there are issuers that still need financing and investors who have cash to put to work. This brings us to the end of our overview. I hope you found it informative. We'll update the analysis each month and plan to have analysis of other specific European market segments going forward. Check out LCD's YouTube page for other video analysis of the leveraged finance market, including U.S. loan market wrap-ups for June and July. The link to the page is in the description for this video. For more information on LCD news or research in Europe, you can contact Anna Cini. You can email her by clicking on the link in the info box. Thanks very much. We'll see you soon.